Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. If you've not been here before, welcome. And if you have, welcome back. I really do appreciate your support. It means so, so, so much to me. So let's get into it. This is my weekly shot my stash. I put my weekly shot my stash review up on Monday. So I'm just going to try and talk about these products and what I'm putting back. Um, and then I'll leave my weekly shop my stash review in the cards just to stop it being as long as it would normally be. I mean, I don't want it to be a 50 minute video, so let's get into it. So, this just stays here um, in case I need the transition transition shades, which are beautiful. It's a beautiful palette. Um, so, I haven't used that this week been using this a ton over the last week and a half it's the Too Faced Chocolate Gold but I haven't been wearing makeup um, probably for about three days now so there are still those bottom three eyeshadows that I want to use so that will stay in and I'll use them and then it will probably come out next week when I do the Shop My Stash when I do another weekly Shop My Stash should I say yeah, so I only need to use these three eyeshadows and then I've used the complete palette I'm using this eyeshadow today. It is gorgeous. It's such a nice, smoky, khaki. It just looks lovely all over the eyelid. Um, and like I said, I've used all the other eyeshadows. So once I've used those three eyeshadows in the palette, then I will go to this one been wanting to use this for a while now um, it's the Catrice Glamazing eyeshadow palette and I do need to get another eyeshadow palette that will work with this because these are all like shimmer eyeshadows so I do need to get another palette for that um, then this one, this one is going back it's the Makeup Obsession face palette that I've curated Right, so I used those two, eye, two um, highlighters last week and then I've used this blush, it's really pigmented that blush and that highlighter um, today so that can go back now. I'm still not 100% sure that I want to keep this in my um, makeup collection but part of me is wanting to keep it in just because it says Beauty with Andrea on it. Um, I will continue to use it and if I don't like it then I might think about decluttering it. Then we have this Z palette. Again I've not used these um, box blushes so it's going to have to stay in until I actually use the blushes. I've used the bronzer, I've used the highlight, I've used that highlight and I've used that blush and that contour shade there. So I have used most of it from, from down here. I just need to start using these more so let's leave this in and we probably won't pull any blushes for this week so that's what it's looking like at the moment so I've not taken I've not really taken anything out of there apart from this little palette so let's go into my everyday makeup drawer right so I'm not going to be talking too much about the things that are in here just because I've done that in my shop, my stash already. I'm just going to be telling you the things that I'm going to keep in. Right, so I've not used this. It's the Becker in Opal. So I want to use it um, just to decide whether I want to keep it or declutter it. So that will stay in. This I've not used either this week. It's the Hourglass Dim Infusion. So I want to keep that in as well. I also want to keep this in. It's the Mary Luminizer. Um, I might put this NYX Contour one back. I did want to use it a little bit more, but I'll put it back. I've not used this. I want to keep this in just to see if I want to keep it in the collection. Um, this one, however, I've used it quite a few times and I don't like the pigment that comes off it. I've shown it in my shop, my stash review, um, but there's hardly any pigment, so that can get decluttered. Um, I want to keep this glow stick in by New Look. Mm, I 
I've not really used that either, so we'll keep that in. There's a lot of blushes here, guys. I don't know what to do about this one. We'll put this one back because it is a similar shade to Opal. So I'll put that one back and maybe pull it next week. I haven't used that, I don't think. This NARS Pierre Hardy is going back into the collection. It's Boys Don't Cry. It's a really nice blush. Um, these bronzers will go back into the collection. So we've got the Physician's Formula Sexy Booster Bronzer. So that'll go back along with the bourgeois one so we are getting some things out powders so let's put this Laura Mercier one back into the collection and pull a different one let's put this stay matte rimmel transparent powder back in I do want to keep this one in um, just because I haven't used it that much so let's keep that one in um, this hourglass palette is part of project pan so is the body shop um, brow liner and then this um, revolution and imagination highlight to the moon palette this one I didn't use this week but I used it quite a lot the following week well the previous week should I say um, so I will put that back and pull something different maybe I'll pull the radiance palette um, Again, we haven't. I haven't used anything from there, and I was supposed to use this. I'm going to try and use this possibly tomorrow. So it's the 17 Wild Metallic Eyes. Um, so that's from a shop my stash inventory, um, and then all these always tend to stay in. Right. So this is my um, base products drawer so I always use this one so this is my Nivea daily essentials that one will stay in this always stays in as well it's the body shop vitamin C I'm using this one up so that's always going to stay in it's only got a few more uses um, I have only used this once or twice that one can stay in but I really got a lot of use out of this bourgeois uh, matte. I really, really like this foundation. So that one can go back and we can pull a different foundation. Um, really, really love this Revolution Fast Base Concealer. So that's going to stay in. I'm just using that concealer up at the moment. Really enjoyed using this Japanese Radiance um, Primer. But I am going to choose something different so that can go back let's just put these in um what do we have under here so i've still haven't used all of these like patches and strips and this hydro bomb tissue mask which is i did say i would use it so i've got to use that over the next couple of days this is also being decluttered. I tried using this. I thought I was going to declutter it last week, but I wanted to give it one more try, and hardly any powder comes off it, so it's gone bad. So I will declutter that. Um, we've also got this, which I've spoke about before. Um, so it's the Liqueur Pink Clay and Golden Glow Multi Mask that just stays at the back there. Right, so all them are items going back and then we've got all these that are staying in. It looks a lot because of all this, um, but yeah, I mean, the main items for me are these blushes. I don't think I'll need to pull any blushes or highlights this week. Maybe one more highlight, um, just because I think that's too dark and we'll be getting decluttered and I like to have a bit of choice. Um, but yes we've got the palette as well the Z palette so this is everything 
Um, so we're going to put those items back and then we're going to shop my stash for the coming week. Right, so let's figure out what foundation I need um, for the upcoming week. I think I'm going to choose a matte one and then we can go in with like, if I want to choose a glowy product from there. So foundation, this um, PS My Perfect Colour Foundation and Contour Stick is up next. So I'm going to pull that one but I'm also going to pull um and more i don't know um a more matte one i don't know if i've got that many though i think oh this is definitely a matte one it says matte on it don't Right, so we'll pull that one as well. I have used this recently though. Um, so my perfect colour longwear ultimate matte foundation. We use both of those. Um, I don't really have that many matte foundations. Just because I prefer a glowy foundation look. Um, but yeah, that's that. So then we'll go into this drawer here. So primers, I've got a primer let me just see what i've actually got in that drawer because i've right, so i've actually only got the travel size um prime time one by bare minerals so i'm gonna want with it with the matte foundation i'm gonna want a glowy one so let's go with this primark one um it's the prep and prime glow illuminating skin primer for that and then We'll just choose a normal one, like this one would be good for my pores, um, a smoothing primer for when I use a glowy one, because um, I've got two different finishes in um, foundation. So let's put all these like that. I don't need any concealer because I'm finishing that concealer off. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I don't want any strobe cream or anything like that this week. These are all lipsticks here, as we know. Um, so it's time to go into these drawers here. So let's right, do that. Right, so powders. Um, so I've put that Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder back. So I want to pull this e.l.f. one um, for my concealer. It's all right. Um, I feel like this one is better than the Laura Mercier one. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this. But I don't have too many powders to actually compare compare it to. I've only got two under eye setting powders. So we'll pull that one. And then for powders itself, like compacts, it's telling me this one should be up next. So we'll pull that one. Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. And it's just... A normal translucent powder that looks white, I think. Oh, well, it is white. Um, but it just blends in with your skin. So, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep that in the collection, actually. So, it's kind of seeing if I want to keep that any longer. Um, and I've got that Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, so I don't need any more. Let's see if this one will go in. And part of me doesn't know whether to pull this as a finishing powder. I think for this week I won't. Um, maybe next week. Then bronzers. So bronzers is something that I need to be pulling. Um, so this one is a Too Faced Bronze Peach. I really, really like this. Um, so let's pull that. But I don't know if I want to wear that all week. So the next one is this Too Faced um milk chocolate soleil i absolutely adore this so we'll pull that one as well so we're getting quite a lot of Too Faced products for this week um highlighters are just at the back here so i think should pull at least one i know i've got quite a lot i've got two like i've got the opal one and i've got the mary luminizer but the opal one i've got a feeling it's going to be way too dark and I'm going to be decluttering it so what have we got I mean even this looks dark let's have a look yeah 
yeah it's quite dark we'll try it anyway because I can do the same there see if it needs decluttering um, so yeah let's just leave that there blushes I really don't want to pull any more blushes just because there are so many blushes in that Z palette so we'll leave blushes for this week and again it's like these are all my face palettes I don't know if I want to pull anything out of here so I've not used this in a hot minute so this is the Revolution Radiance palette I used the Beyond Radiance last time so these can be used as finishing powder just like the um, hourglass ones um, they, they, they're actually like in, they compare well to the hourglass ones so let's pull this one and see how I get on with that I think that's it from this section Yeah, I definitely think that's it. Third drawdown. I do need a little palette just to work with those other eyeshadows in that palette that I was telling you about. And the only thing I could come up with is this Naked Urban Decay Basics. I have got the Ultimate Basics as well and I used to have Basics too in this. But I sold it. I weren't using them um, so I'm going to use this um, that should work well as for anything else in here then no because I've got too many eyeshadows and then the top the sorry the last drawer down is all my bigger eyeshadow palettes and I won't be pulling anything from there either just because I just don't need anything from here um but yeah I mean you get quite a few mats in this revolution one I think hmm I think the um, urban decay basics will work better so we will use that for this week and guys can you believe it this is everything um so I'm gonna put everything in the drawers and, and we'll go through it right so the only things that I've gone into this little um, palette holder here are my Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and then at the back of that is the Revolution Radiance palette so I'm not going to go through everything again because we already talked about that at the beginning so let's put that there so that's what it looks like very very full but this one will be coming out in a few days time right so we don't need to go in and talk about this because i spoke about all this earlier um this one's going to be staying in i've got to tell you earlier and then the eyeshadows there as well so this essence all about matte i'm going to be using that this week as well as well as that powder there um, these are all project pans and then I've got a couple of new bronzers that I'll be using well not new but I pulled in these two um, Too Faced bronzers this one again is in Milk Chocolate Soleil and this one is another Too Faced one in Bronzed Peach I love both of those bronzers and then we've got this revolution highlighter in raise the bar I think it's too dark for me really but we'll try that this week um, then I want to be trying this this week no exceptions really I need to try it um, if it's too old then get rid of it out of the collection and then all these are face products so this is the only area really where it's changed a lot so we've got the Primark Prep and Prime sorry Prep and Perfect Glow Illuminating Primer so there's that and then there's this other primer that I pulled the Sephora one um, we've got this 
P.S. My Perfect Colour Matte Foundation and then I've got the Dewy Foundation that I was using for a couple of days this week which is the True Blend. That's the only concealer I'm wearing at the moment. I want to finish this off this week. Um, this is the Prime Time. And then um, I'm going to try and use this more. This is the Vitamin C Glow Enhancer. I use this every day without fail so that will stay in and also this is the elf under eye setting powder so yeah these are all the products that I'll be using this week and hopefully by the time I do it again on Monday yeah on Monday all this will be out and um, we can start using the other clay mask that I've not used now for about a week so this is what it looks like so quite a lot of products in there and then obviously that's what that looks like and then my lipsticks are on there that I'm using for this week's um, not this week's, this month's lipstick edit. I've done a lipstick edit roulette though, so it's slightly changed from how I normally do it. I'm really, really looking forward to um, letting you know my thoughts at the end of the month. And then there's this one actually, I forgot to tell you about that earlier. So it's the Winky Lux, I think it's the Uptown Kitten Palette or something like that. Yeah, it's the Winky Lux Uptown Kitten Palette um, and I pulled this last week. I want to do a look on camera. I'm going to be doing a Try It Thursday. It's a new series um, but I just need to make time to actually do that. The, the eyeshadows in this palette are absolutely beautiful. The formula is amazing. I'm just going to show you this one. It's super, super soft. I mean, look at the pigment on that. I only basically tapped it. Um, that is definitely the best eyeshadow in the palette and it's called Dollars mm. but yeah really really love it if you haven't got this palette and you've got a local TK Maxx, TJ Maxx near where you live I would definitely definitely recommend you see if he's there in my local boots it's £20 and I got this for about £6.99 I believe um, so yeah definitely worth it um, and it's a great travel palette as well so this is everything for this video thank you for watching it really does mean a lot to me if you've not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and notifications bell um it would mean so much to me and i'll see you in my next one bye